It's been two years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two years since we've seen each other. Yeah. Yeah. What have you been up to for the past two years? Two years? Honestly, I don't know. Cause like it's it went by like a blur. Mm -hmm. Because since the pandemic started, it's just been like work, home work home yeah. and then trying to insert like hobbies in between so I learned how to crochet <laughs> I think the most eventful thing that I did the past two years was when you went to New, went York. To New York yeah yeah I went to New York and then I went to Texas also I went to LA oh yeah you went to California I went to California I visited Lolo Lala Rolly and Tita Pressy. So within those two years, it kind of set a boundary also of how work should be and how much you balance your personal life as well. So I think a lot of people kind of felt that sort of realization and reset. Yes, like we were talking about earlier, you missed a lot of yeah, important. those yeah. important events like when I turned 18, yeah. when I started college. And then we also miss like a lot of your important achievements when you got promoted twice. I got promoted <laughs> twice, which is was a shock. Yeah. 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 Speaking of work, we're actually in your yeah office right now. Yeah, it's your second <laughs> time. I've only been here twice because we just got back from yeah Shanghai. Shanghai. We haven't actually. You lived in the Philippines for how long? How many years already? Since 2019. 2019. So it's three years. Already. Three years. We. Like aside from you, we have not been to Philippines since five years ago, when it was Lola's birthday. Sixtieth, yeah. Yeah, 60th. when it was Lola's sixtieth. Twenty seventeen. So after five years, we finally we're finally back in the Philippines. Yeah, we moved here, uh, we moved in Shanghai when I was three and yeah. you were eight. And I was eight, so that was 20... I, summer 2006. Summer of 20, 2006. 2006. <laughs> yeah, and because I was like super young, I don't really have a lot of memories of when I started kindergarten yeah. and stuff like that. But I felt like you had more memories compared yeah. to me. But from what I remember, I remember life back then was super simple. Shanghai wasn't like such a big city back yeah. then and it was not until 2010 which is when the Expo Shanghai Expo started that you know things started to really develop they had to develop things rather quickly mm -hmm. it was really the place to be during the early 2000s because everything was just starting to develop it's actually if you think about it it's really amazing how quick the technology and the structures that came about out of nowhere it was like really interesting to watch all of that development of like how shanghai used to be when we were there uh, when we started living there and like up until now they still are sort of the pioneers when it comes to like urban planning and just like the technology that they use and if you think about it we actually grew up with Shanghai. While yeah. Shanghai was growing, we were also we growing. We were also growing. We were growing. So it was a really nice part of our life to yeah. see Shanghai develop as a city as well. Yeah. And so it's a surprise when we finally decided to move back to the Philippines because of right. the lockdown. Right. Because we, we stayed in Shanghai, we lived in Shanghai for so long. And I felt like there were a lot of times where we were like, okay, we're going back to the Philippines. But it never happened. It never happened. It never happened. So I feel like this lockdown was the final push for us to go back to the Philippines. Yeah. So I think it's pretty sad how Shanghai is like right now in this in the state because a lot of people, even though they're not like Chinese, 
they really consider Shanghai their home, which they're pretty much really, really devastated about. Mm -hmm. The whole process of moving back to the Philippines was honestly such a stressful yeah. process. Like I actually our decision to go back to the Philippines was just like one week before our flight, right? Yeah. Remember I just called you and then I was like, We're going back to the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty stressed too. Cause like I've been living by myself for two years and the things in the house was just for someone living alone. Who yeah. is living alone. Um, our flight was on Saturday, right? And we were supposed to be finished packing by Friday. But we weren't completely done. I was done packing my clothes and my essentials, but they weren't because they had a lot of... They had to fix a lot of the stuff at home. So when Friday afternoon, I was taking a nap. I had class in the morning and the whole afternoon I was just too tired because we stayed up until like 4 a.m. Thursday night just to pack. I was really tired, so I took a nap. Papa woke, woke me up. He was like, Shanghai's gonna be on lockdown again. Our driver is telling us Shanghai's gonna be on lockdown again. Can you call him? And can you imagine that like, you just woke up from your nap and then like you're not processing anything. And I was like, what? And then there's another noise at the background. Mom's crying <laughs> so loud. She's crying so loud. And then I saw that the text message from our driver said that Shanghai will be on lockdown that night. And he would recommend that we go there immediately at the airport Friday night, even if our flight was on Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. We yeah. didn't even know if Shanghai would be on lockdown, really. It was just a rumor. So we couldn't take the risk of not going to the airport. So we just went for it. We slept in the airport. We arrived there at like 11 p.m. Our flight was at 11 a.m. on Saturday. And right when we thought that we wouldn't have any problems anymore because we were in the airport already, we had more problems. We yeah. had like a last minute problem before the flight. So, you know, the immigration, right? Yeah. That was the last step before we could actually have our flight. Um, they got holed up. Yeah. Um, Mama, Papa, and Sai got holed up. I got in because I had the student visa. Yeah, you're So in I was still yours. good. Yeah. So they got holed up in the immigration, but I went in already. And we had like 10 minutes left until our flight boards. And I remember thinking like that was the most stressful time of my 19 years <laughs> of 19 years of living yeah and at that time i told you like the whole week i tried to keep it together right? yeah that was the only time i actually cried yeah <laughs> i was like last minute we're already almost boarding our flight yeah and like you said after all we've already been through we packed all our stuff we got rid of our stuff and then we're not gonna get we're gonna we're not gonna get into our flight i really lost it at that <laughs> moment i was crying when you were calling me i was panicking at that time because i just really didn't know where they were because they couldn't call me as well yeah and i didn't know what was happening right when you were calling me they they went in the security check already and i was like yeah. they're here <laughs> i was like they're here it's <laughs> actually they're here <laughs> I just realized how important it is to have um, personal connections. Even just like every day seeing my colleagues was a big thing. And now I just I just see them in a computer screen. And it wasn't this, the, the same. Because then it, 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 you, in the office at least you would still have lunches together. Yeah. You go out like having coffee. Like physical touching of like hugging or just like patting their backs. It's, a, it's really important and I think that's what makes us really unique as a human being is because of those personal relationships that we had with one another. And of course, like not being able to see all of you guys for such a long time, that's one of the main reasons I went to New York as well is because I just felt numb already mm -hmm. that like I don't, because I don't have that personal connections with other people. I decided to go to New York then to sort of like bring back that sort of actually just bring back that feeling of being human again and like being able to 
eat out at a restaurant mm-hmm. or just like go to an ice cream truck or just like go jog freely i remember when i was in texas we went to the arboretum and it was really mm-hmm. nice because it was the first time that i heard people like talking and in the park like with music and it was just like it was kind of like back to reality again i never took anything for like granted in terms of like interacting with people just like simple things like having a coffee every day and like walking like all of those like we've been living such a fast pace for the past few like decades of like even like the world is growing so fast and so rapidly that we just forget how to breathe and how to have like personal connections with people and how important that is like a lot of people would just take that for granted and say like oh i just i I can be alone like i don't want to talk to anyone and i don't want to and that's i think what a lot of people took for granted during the pandemic yeah and the lockdown really took our time away yeah. from each other as well because yeah. right when the pandemic started that's when we separated you went back to the philippines yeah. we were in new york right yeah 2020 we were in new york that was our last family vacation skiing, yeah. we went skiing that was a really good time and can you imagine just like right after having such a good vacation you went yeah. back to the philippines we went back to shanghai and then the pandemic started yeah. we were on lockdown we were just video calling every time it's your birthday we video call yeah. if it's someone's birthday if it's christmas we just end video up video call. calling and yeah. now we're in 2022 and then we're finally like back together as a family yeah and i feel like it's just the beginning it feels like a lot of yeah a lot of points in our life already ended because of the lockdown and the pandemic but i feel like the lockdown the pandemic just really made our eyes it opened our eyes into seeing what we should value more and sometimes the world is too fast that we forget to just live as human beings yeah happy birthday to you happy So after all of those conversations, what do you think is next for us?